Okay, so we are now walking towards the lighthouse from North Beach. You see, it's a beautiful day, but it's a little windy out. Right, as we get towards closer to the lighthouse, we can do tide pools. You're kind of walking along here, you can see it's pretty low tide too, which is nice. Always makes things easier. But as we get further down, you'll see where the bluffs are eroding out. Should be pretty fun. We can see the lighthouse now, all the way in the distance. Tidal pools. Why is the wind, bud? Oh, it's so Little tiny crabs. Oh, that's yeah. a big crab! Oh yeah, oh look at that one. That is a big one. Where is it? I gently lift that rock. There he is. Where? Oh, he's right in front of that rock there. Oh yeah. Can you get there? Let's see. He's right behind there. Oh, I do see him. That's a big one. Yeah. Be real gentle with him. Sorry, he's missing the claw, looks like. Yeah, look at that jellyfish. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think we really need to. I mean, that jellyfish isn't alive anymore. What? But no. It's all right. The to pour water at me. <laughs> all right. So the wind's still pretty bad, but we're getting pretty close to the lighthouse now. So, if you're looking behind that lighthouse, you are seeing uh, the Cascades there. But if you look off over here, the distance, it's Mount Hood. Oh, is that Mount Hood? No, I'm sorry, that's Mount Baker. Yeah, let's redo that one. Yeah, so off that way is Mount Baker. And then the Cascade Range behind the lighthouse there. And then this is the Salish Sea, and straight of Juan de Fuca, and if we go out this way, so straight across from us is Woodby Island, and then just to the left of it is the San Juan Islands. And then just barely visible on the horizon, that's gonna be British Columbia. It is. Let's see if we can do this with the wind as bad as it is right now. But yeah, so that's a, that, yeah, that's a sea star, and you know, they have their Tiny suction cup feet on them. Um, people will pry them off the rocks. It's really not good for them. Uh, to damage the feet. Yeah, it's very easy to damage them. So it's best to just leave them be. But you'll find them you know, in areas like this. But usually they're not so out in the open. A lot of times they'll be clean to like the underside or crevice between two rocks. But very cool. Hmm. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. they haven't picked up meat yet. Right. Oh wait, so we're walking up from the lower beach campgrounds now where the lighthouse is. And we're gonna take the trail up to the main bunkers. So that'll be fun. But it's kind of cool. You can see a lot of different things growing in here. So we have sword fern here. Wow. And we have Indian plum. What's that? That is some type of fungus. That there is winter berry but that's not edible yeah hmm. alders big maples cedars in here pretty fun <laughs> i found it yeah you did and hugged you yes. yeah, that's a nice. big one. i like slugs and then started walking again but now, now there's a finger slug yeah. Right, so straight down there on the beach is the lighthouse. Pretty steep little climb, but definitely worth it. Well worth it. All right, so we're in the upper bunkers now. Yeah, cowboy. Yeah, we can walk down all the bunkers here. 
This is kind of a cool area. Just for all the different trees that are here. So we have, what's that kiddo? So we just had dewberries and salal berries. You did not like the salal berry. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, so we're walking down the bunkers. Yeah. Not much you're gonna be able to see in there, it's just a room. Hear the echoing of other people in there. Charlie, no boy. Yeah, let's go up here. <laughs> Careful by the edge, bud. Oh, do we want to go down in the bunker? We can get down in this one. like in real life. We're just walking through the dark bunkers. Pretty cool though, huh? Oh. Yeah. We were just on the other side there. All right, let's come back this way. Yeah. Pretty exciting. Let's go another one. <laughs> Here we go, kiddos. Because you wouldn't fit. All right, so here we are going through the tunnel. Oh, it's okay. This is the best part. the tunnel. Look at that. Now we have to go back up, I guess. Alright. Don't we have to go back up? Uh, no, we go this way. So, rattlesnake plantain. You can see that it's getting ready to bloom. That's what this is here. Isn't that cool? Not actually a, a type of plantain, but this is the only place I ever found it. 
Very cool. So it's not at all in the plantain family? No. So why is it called a rattlesnake? Just because it bears a resemblance? Rump, yeah, exactly. Okay. Look at the view. Yeah. Yeah. It's here on the... Oh, yeah. It's all right. We just leave it alone. Yeah, so this is from the Walker Bunkers, which is actually isn't the highest point here. But even still, this is just absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this is a good spot to also do whale watching. So uh, when the whales are in the area, this is kind of a, a nice spot to go where you can see them really well from up here. Is it around this time of year? You know, it really all depends on where the food's at. So it kind of changes year to year. But we get whales that are transient through the area on the migration up to the, the Bering Sea. Um, and, you know, we get gray whales and I think occasionally humpbacks will come in here as well. Um, but another one you'll see is there's the transient orca population, but then there's also our resident orcas and they'll come through this area as well. So, in fact, straight across from us are the San Juan Islands and the orcas didn't spend a lot of time up there feeding off the islands. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Just look at that view though. There's Mount Hood over there. Mount Hood? Mount Baker. Mount Baker. Mount Baker. I don't know why I want to call it Mount Hood. She said enough times. No, we're in the wrong state for it. South starts. Trade. Right. Oh, that big ship there in the distance. Oh, wow. Try to look at that boat. I don't see it. You see oh, it? Look I how see massive it. that thing is. That's the so, roll on, roll off. Wow. Yeah. I'm watching the Majestic so, Sandies. It's likely carrying hundreds of cars. So, where's the big port? Uh, to Seattle. The Elliott Bay. All the way down to Seattle? Yeah. yeah. So, this is the main area of transit through the straits into the... Yeah. Oh, I thought you were trying to get off, but...